Snap Manager for Virtual Infrastructure version 2.0 adds support for file level recovery of virtual machine guest files. The self-service model allows end users to self-select backups and files while allowing the SMVI administrator to retain oversight of the recovery process. Let's take a look at the file level recovery process in action. The recovery process starts with the SMVI administrator starting a single file restore session. The admin chooses the virtual machine that files need to be restored from and where restored files will be copied to. These do not need to be the same virtual machine. Next, the administrator specifies the email address of the end user who will be recovering the files and sets a timeout option for the restore session. This will ensure that any mounted file systems or disks will be automatically disconnected when no longer needed. The single file restore option has a full self-service option for environments where the virtual machine has network access and a limited self-service option where the administrator chooses the backup to restore from, but end users still choose the files. Now that the restore session has been created, let's take a look at how the single file restore process works for the end user. The SMVI server sends an email to the end user. This email contains a link to download the single file restore agent, if it's not already installed, and a configuration file that will connect the restore agent to the SMVI server. Once the restore agent has loaded the configuration file, the user chooses the virtual machine to recover from and is then presented with a list of all the valid backups of that VM. The user can sort the backups by name or timestamp and then chooses which drive letter to mount the recovery disk, in this case drive I. The cloning and mounting operations of data stores and virtual disks are completely automatic and invisible to the end user. The user now has a new disk drive, which is a complete point-in-time copy of the virtual disk to recover files from. The user can simply drag and drop files and folders to restore them wherever they wish. Now that the recovery process is complete, the end user can close the restore session, which will clean up any mounted disks and data stores, or the cleanup will occur automatically when the session timeout is reached.